Hey there. So this is gonna be part two of a uh, trying to give myself an ego makeover. Do I know this trend is dead? Absolutely. Do I care? Absolutely not. Because I'm gonna get redemption come hell or high water. I'm gonna get it. Even that means I fail this time. I'm gonna come back some odd months later and do it again. So I'm not even gonna waste time. Let's get into it. So I think I found what my problem was last time. I literally just typed in e-girl on Google. I didn't specify what kind of e-girl that I was looking for. So it started giving me like Instabaddy e-girl, TikTok e-girl, goth e-girl, girl? Freaking grew now. Um, something called an EDM e-girl? I, I have no idea what those people are. So I just typed in simple. Okay, I'm a simple chick. I need simplicity for my simple brain. And I got it. And I think I can do this one. If it says on the think I can do it. So, I'm gonna pull out everything in my little bag of tricks to get this ish done and get it done right. With the makeup, I also looked up the hairstyle. With the simple makeup came the simple clothes, which I think I can do, and then the simple hairstyle. Not sure I can still do that. I know nothing about hair. I don't know how it works. I don't know how to get it to do anything. It just does what it does on its own. And I have to live with it. She kind of has a sunset eye going. Lucky for me, I bought some makeup on Halloween that I think I can actually accomplish that look. I'm using the camera to do this, so may or may not be a good idea still. Nope, I need a mirror for this. Big mirror I have. I hope big mirror doesn't follow me or else big mirror's gonna leave a big bruise. I was defeated once before. I refuse to be defeated again. I have one question and one question only. What makeup are these girls using to make it so freaking vibrant? Cause this, again, is just looking like a freaking pink mess. I'm not even using pink, I'm using orange. The hell do you get pink out of orange? My mom just started to vacuum. I'm gonna do this makeup and then I'll come back. Hopefully she'll be done by then. I look like the equivalent of pink lemonade, and honestly, I freaking love it. Um, I learned that the best brush to use is your finger when applying eyeshadow, and the best blending tool is blinking. So the whole makeup business is a sham. You don't need these brushes, you just need your fingies. Now I know this girl has foundation on, which I have a giant pimple on my cheek. Her name's Frederica. She's just gonna be here for the ride, so I'm sorry. I need to apply more sh eyeshadow after. I can do so. 23 years old, still don't know how to apply foundation. If anyone can tell me how, please let me know. Okay, this chick got black eyebrows. I can do that. So let this be a testament to everyone who's like, oh, I gave up. You can do it again. Okay, I failed epically. Here I am about to fail epically again, and I'm filming it and I'm putting it on the internet. You can do it. How does people get their eyebrows to look so freaking good? How do you get anything to look good? I'm like, damn, things are getting serious. Cause now I gotta do the wing. Her wing is not as curvy as I usually make mine, so this is probably gonna be a challenge. So let's do this thing. I'd say that's pretty straight. Straighter than the pole your mother danced on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. This is so sad. Nothing that a piece of tissue won't fix. Oh, I lied. There's things that tissue cannot fix. Oh, that might be good. I can go with that. I can use that smudge as a blueprint. Again, she just gets hers to look so freaking nice, dude. I don't know how. The skill that I will never acquire in my life. Oh well, I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, that was not as painful as I thought it was gonna be. Still don't think it looks right, but I'm gonna see it through. Bottom liner is kind of tripping up. I see what you did there. I see what she did there. She has some white underneath her eyes. That got right in my eye. I messed up horribly. Try that again. Next thing I got it. She has a very like, just no lipstick at all. So still not happy with the makeup again. She might have more orange on her. So maybe if I add some orange, it'll get rid of this pink tone. In person, yes, on camera, no, still looks pink. And I don't think that she's wearing false lashes, so thank God. I am not putting myself through that again. Okay, this is as good as it's gonna get, I think. 
Um, I have two outfits and I'm gonna change into the first one so I don't mess up the hair. I have this idea for the hair, okay? And if I can't do that, I'm just gonna go for what I call Lazy Wednesday Adams and it's just gonna be like loose pigtails. So I'll be right back. Okay, I decided to redo my makeup because the clothes and the makeup just do not go well together. And I just saw what was happening or what has happened at a concert. I think it's Astro World or anyway, it was a Travis Scott concert. And this is why I hate celebrity and stan culture. Nobody's supposed to die at a concert. People were literally, from what I understand, asphyxiated because they were being crushed by the crowd. You had people going into cardiac arrest. You had people fainting and passing out. And you even had people chanting, stop the show, and had people go up on stage and tell people that there were people dying in that crowd and they didn't do anything. I understand that those places are loud, those places are crowded, but his actions leading up to that event is what caused it. And I don't know what to be more disgusted about. Either his actions because it was his concert and I've seen so many videos of celebrities and stuff seeing someone take a hit and they stop the entire thing to say, help that person. Ball was in his court, it's his concert, it's his responsibility. But also to the people around, the people that were preventing like the ambulance and stuff to get to the people who were in distress, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't understand this mentality of nobody else cares so why should I? That's the reason nobody else cares. Everyone walks around with that mentality and unless you change, no one else is gonna change. You have to be the change that you want to see. That shit's ridiculous. I'm sorry, I, that upsets me. It's not something that should happen. It's not something that has to happen. Like people could have made the right decisions and maybe those people would still be alive. So I'm gonna go for a more plain look this time. I don't think that the colors are the way to go. I think that just has to be plain. And to the people who were trying to say like, oh, it's not his fault. Yes, it was. He told people to rush it. He told people to rush to the front. He saw people's bodies dropping in front of him. He had people come up to the stage and say, people are dying, stop the show, and he didn't do it. That is when it's on him. I get it, that's your favorite musician, but that doesn't mean that they are excused. They're not. It's not cancel culture. It's being held responsible for your actions. I'm just, I'm gonna come back when I'm done with this because I'm too fired up to like communicate with the camera right now. Okay, hi, I'm back. I apologize for my rant earlier, but I'm kind of tired of seeing people just literally step on others because they are too self-absorbed to give a damn about anyone else's life. Um, so this is the makeup that I did. I even tried hearts. Uh, they are extremely uneven, I'm sorry, but this is the best that I could do. So now onto the hair. Can't wait. All right, let's do this thing. I wonder if I straighten my hair, if that would make a difference. I don't know how else to do it. Except like she just kind of like really overbrushes it. Doesn't look all that special. How does she do that? I don't know if I should go Wednesday Adams or not. Let's try Wednesday Adams and see how that goes. Yeah, that doesn't look good either. Ugh. I honestly think that this is best it's gonna get, so I'm gonna put on the accessories and then I'll show you the full getup. Okay, so I got these nice katana earrings. I thought that they would make great accessories. And who doesn't like a good katana? Honestly, I think this outfit is so much better than the last one that I had. Like, I don't look like an emo character from South Park. Not that there's anything wrong with being emo, it's just not the look that I was going for. So yeah, this is outfit one. I could not find a striped, like long sleeve shirt anywhere. I guess those are really popular right now and I, I could not find a single one. So with that, I got the belt. I actually kind of like the belt just for like whatever outfit that I have. I got the ripped jeans with the fishnet that you can't see, but I think you'll see it pretty well in the second outfit. So let me change into that and you'll be the judge. This is outfit two. I think that this is like 
the closest that I will ever get to having an e-girl outfit. I got the ripped jeans, the chain, the belt, uh, the fishnets. I freaking love the fishnets. I can't get over them. The one thing that I forgot to put back on was the uh, katana earrings. I honestly didn't think that like they went with the outfit. I thought that they were doing a little too much. But comparing this to my first outfit from the first video, this is absolutely an upgrade. And I'm very proud of myself for it. Honestly, this outfit, the one I'm wearing right now, is kind of my favorite. Still kind of mad because I was not able to find a hairstyle that A, I was skilled enough to do, and B, looks good on me. So I can offer you the outfit and that's about it. Um, do I think I succeeded? No. Did I do better? In my opinion, yes. I think the problem was last time is that I literally just searched e-girl on Google and it just started giving me like a barrage of different kinds of e-girls and I was just like, what did I just step into? But this time I think I nailed it. Well, I didn't hit the nail directly on the head, but I did like hit it kind of to where the nail just gets bent and like you can't really hit it anymore to go in so like you have to pull it out. I got close though, I think, so. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Except for my rant, I just, I needed to get that out there. I just realized my camera is uneven. There we go. So if you liked the video, please hit that like button down below. And if you wanna stick around and watch me try and fail at stuff, hit that subscribe button or not. You do what you feel is right. And again, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe out there. Bye.